This is a MacBook Pro mid-2009 laptop. Uh, intent replacing the hard drive with a 256GB solid state drive, or SSD as it's commonly known. But first of all I'd like to do a little test, timing the boot up and the shutdown, so that I can show the improvement, hopefully, after I install the SSD. So here goes. One minute thirty-three. Well, we hope it's going to be a big improvement with the SSD in, but I don't think it was that bad. One thirty-three seconds. Now, what we'll do next is we'll try the shutdown time it. Twenty one seconds. So that was twenty one seconds to shut down. So again we'll next stage will be put in the SSD and see what the results show. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to replace the hard drive in a MacBook Pro with an SSD or solid state drive. Uh, before we do anything, it's most important to back up. I've already used a data transfer disk to, to back up my computer, but that's most important. You have to back up. Uh, as well as that, there's just static. You should touch bare metal, a central heating pad, copper, something that's not painted. So that's the first thing. The next thing is to take the back off the laptop. I haven't loosened all the screws now, it's a matter of releasing the other cover. Now, this is the hard drive. So we'll turn it, we'll turn it around.
It's held in by this clip here. Now there's two screws which we shall take out. Just place that there, and it should lift out. And as you can see, there's tape which holds on the clip of the other side. Now, what we want to do is just release this end piece here, just gently work it out. So that's the hard drive of the MacBook, which we'll just leave to the side. This is the SSD solid state drive which I got from Crucio. Now, what we have, we have four screws on the hard drive which have to come out. Uh, I had to go and purchase a special screwdriver for the uh, torque screws here. They're very, very fine, and uh, I had to actually buy a kit of these bits, the torque bits, the suit, but I think I've got the one now for it. So what we'll do is we'll have to take the four screws out. Four screws taken out. Now, these four screws have to go back in to the new hard drive, the SSD solid state drive so it's quite fiddly but let's see Now, the next thing we need to do is we take the clip that came out of the end of the other one, the hard drive, and insert it into the SSD. And they engage. Fine. I'm just checking to see that that's the right place. And here. That's it. Right, and that seems to be it. Now, I'll turn the laptop back to where it was. And I'll replace the back. And replace the screws.
that's all the screws, the back screwed on again, so now we'll, for the moment of truth, we'll turn it over and switch it on. The, the test we did on the hard drive before we removed it, uh, the boot up was 1 minute 33 seconds, so we'll try it now with the SDD, <coughs> SSD and, and see if there's a big improvement. Forty-four seconds. That was a great improvement. From one minute thirty-three, by putting in the SSD, we've reduced the boot up time. So that's that's very good. So what we'll do now is we'll do go the opposite way, and we will see for shutting down. The test we did on the hard drive was twenty-one seconds for a shutdown. I'm now going to try it with the SSD installed and see how much we can take off that time. That was up four and a half seconds, I think that was. <laughs> My goodness. That was unbelievable. Four and a half seconds, so that's the sort of improvement you get by installing an SSD. So, hope that, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll make another video showing just what you can do with the hard drive you've taken out. You can buy an enclosure and actually make it then into a portable hard drive which can be very useful. So we'll leave that until the next time. Thanks for watching.